Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I feel like I haven't spoke to you guys for ages because my last two videos were just music and clothes. So yeah, I feel like this is nice. I feel like we're chatting again. Today I have a product review and it's more of a products and brand review. A little while ago now, a skincare brand called Bulldog sent me some items, some products. Um, to try out, and I was like, okay, cool, like, I love trying new products, but yeah, I wanted to give them a good go, so I can actually tell you if they worked for me, what didn't work for me, um, and just generally what I thought about the products, you know, you can't review a product within a, a week of getting it, do you know what I mean? So I think three months is a really good amount of time, um, and just let you know, fly. So I feel like three months is a really good time, because I can just kind of know for definite, what's working for me, what isn't, if it's actually them products that are working for me. So yeah, let's just get on with it. Okay, so first things about this company is they are a British company, so everything is made here in the UK, um, but I believe you can buy it worldwide. They are also cruelty free, which of course is a massive plus. I don't use anything that isn't. Um, they're a really ethical brand as well, and they're also vegan approved which is all good, which means everyone can use them. But let's jump in with the first product, which is the Original Face Wash. Now this says it's packed with eight essential oils and green tea to gently cleanse your face of dirt and debris. Bulldog is a man's best friend. <laughs> One thing that I actually love about this company is they um, say stuff on the back, so like instead of just explaining what the product is or giving a description of what the product is, uh, this one says, how can you face your problem if your problem is your face, which I think is really funny. <laughs> it says, this isn't the whole answer, but it's a start. Be loyal to your skin. Our products never contain artificial colours, synthetic fragrances, or ingredients from animal resources. I'm still laughing about the first thing. <laughs> okay, it's not that funny. I'll calm down. But as you guys know, I love natural products, so yeah, I was really excited about trying this. I really liked it, I really, really liked it. Um, it didn't sting like some face washes do, it didn't feel fragrance heavy, um, because there are no fake fragrances in it. A lot of face washes tend to dry out the face a little bit more, so then you have to use your toner and moisturiser to kind of combat that. Um, but this face wash didn't do that at all. And one thing I must say that I really, really love about this brand is um, skincare for men, they are aimed at men, but they don't have that horrible synthetic aftershavey smell that they put in a lot of products for men just in general overall and um, you know they all smell like a barber shop which isn't a bad thing I just when I smell that it just screams synthetic and fake smells at me and I just don't want to be putting that anywhere near my body um, but yeah so I really really like this really like this and then to go along with that of course one of the most important steps of um, of your skincare routine is to moisturize so they sent me their original moisturizer which is packed with eight essential oils, including green tea, green algae, um, cognac, man, man, that one, and vitamin E, which all help to rehydrate the skin. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna read the back of all of these. These are good things to read on the toilet. <laughs> when you go to the toilet, you forget your phone, you just grab one of these and read the back. Anyway, this one says, our number one rule is to hope for the best, plan for the worst. With your face, it's all in the planning. That's true, these are mantras to live by. These are really, really good little things on the back. I must admit, I haven't used this one a lot. I take this one when I'm going to maybe like my parents for the weekend, if I'm staying at a friend's house. It is really good, it's really, really good. And for me, one thing that I don't like about moisturizers is when they're heavy, when they take a lot to rub in, because I have oily skin, oily and sensitive skin that gets shiny very, very quickly. I don't like to have to sit there and rub heavy, heavy moisturizers into my skin. This sunk in extremely quickly. Um, I wasn't shiny for most of the day, which is really weird for me. Like, usually within two hours of cleaning my face and moisturizing, I'm shiny again. But no, this kept me looking matte for quite a long time. But I do feel like I haven't given this um, all that much of a chance, but it is really, really good. But yeah, for once it's gone, I probably won't be purchasing it. Um, only because I'm in love with my aloe vera gel. As you know, I've done a video on aloe vera gel um, and I'm just using that as my moisturizer because I love it. Um, if I didn't have that, yeah, I'd be using this. Moving on to my next item. One thing I'm very skeptical about are eye creams and eye roll-ons. Um, a lot of them claim to like banish dark circles. Um, I don't know if it's just me. It could be the fact that I don't actually drink that much water and I sleep very late, but um, yeah, they don't I just don't think they work on me. I just feel like they're not doing anything. Um, I've tried the L'Oreal eye roller before. I've tried the Nip and Fab eye roller before. Um, didn't really, really do much. So when Bulldog sent me their original eye roll on, I was a bit like, am I actually gonna use this? Um, uh, and just to skip forward, I have been using it. Um, it's packed with avocado oil, cucumber oil, and Brazilian ginseng extract. 
uh, to reduce the appearance of dark circles, puffiness and fine lines. Um, I'm 20 something. <laughs> I'm not far away from getting fine lines, in fact I have a few on my forehead already. This one says if you scream, no, this one says I scream, you scream, we all scream for eye, eye cream. That, I can I struggled with that, I don't know why. But yeah, I've been using it, I never think these are miracle products, so instead of a eye cream, which for me I just don't like the faff of patting around my eyes, I hate getting things near my eyes. Um, yeah, this is a nice one just to roll on underneath. One thing I noticed about this compared to other eye roll-ons that I have is this was a little bit more creamier. Like you can see it go on, it's almost white, whereas all the other ones I have are kind of um, clear and they kind of dry like you've got a film under your eye. But I just found this was really nice and light. Um, I must admit I haven't seen any difference in my dark circles, probably because I'm not drinking enough water, uh, staying up really, really late on YouTube. But I have noticed there's puffiness. You know when you wake up in the morning, it's just all puffy and you've got like big lumps in your eyes. It just takes it down straight away. It's just a really, really nice feeling. Um, but again, probably something I won't be getting once this runs out, um, just because I feel like it'd be a waste of my money. Not because the product doesn't work, because if I'm not getting the sleeping water that I need, I'm just, you know, not helping out, not helping myself out really. And I've left the best till last. This product, I am, so in love with, like this is really, really, really good. And you can see by the packaging, I've been using a lot. This is their original face scrub, packed again with eight essential oils. And this has little olive seeds in it as well, or like bits of olive seed. This says on the back, what's the biggest room in the world? The room for improvement. Go there now, do it. That's really nice. I can see that on Tumblr or on like someone's t-shirt, that one. I love this so much so that I included it in my uh, seven grooming tips for men over on my icon playlist, um, the guide. Take a look at that. The olive seeds in it aren't harsh. Um, it's really, really creamy. It feels like, um, I don't know, like usually with exfoliators, you feel like you're, you're scrubbing stuff off. And as much as your face shouldn't hurt, it should never hurt when you're exfoliating. You know, you can usually feel the little bits, like, gently exfoliating your face. But this was so soft, like, so, so soft. Um, but I can definitely see an improvement. And I've been using this maybe three to four times a week, which is a little bit over the maximum recommended. I just feel like it's that gentle. And I haven't seen any kind of, like, problems. Um, one place I've really noticed the difference is on my nose. I have a lot of discoloration in the corner. Um, and it just tends to look dull and oily and it's the same with my forehead, so my T-zone basically. I don't know, I've just noticed it's looked a lot more like lighter, a lot more vibrant, like a lot more alive rather than just very matte and dull. But I just really like it and again, um, it hasn't got that weird ultra manny smell to it. Um, I just love it, like it's it's very very moisturising as well. But yeah, this is this is up there if not one of the best exfoliators I've used, I like it. They might have a sensitive one, I'm not too sure, but I think this is great for all skin types. The fact that all of these have essential oils in is a massive deal for me. You don't usually find that kind of that kind of wording on men's packaging, if that makes sense. Usually they try to like man it up a bit and they're like, you know, face stuff that packs a punch or things like that, you know, whereas this is literally telling you exactly what's in it. Um, green tea, they're not dumbing anything down, which um, it annoys me because I feel like a lot of men's products do that um, in a day where men are very, very actually concerned with the way they look and very much into grooming and personal care um, and skincare. Um, and that's just what I love about this brand. They're obviously a men's brand. I think the Bulldog is such a cool little thing. Like, I think the Bulldog is like Brit Britain's national dog. Um, I had this like displayed on my desk when I first got them um, for ages because the packaging is just really really nice as well. It fits in well with the neutral tone of like any bathroom. Is, is that a big deal for anyone? That's a big deal for me. If I see the packaging and I don't think that's gonna look tidy and nice in my bathroom then I'm not gonna buy it. Um, but yeah, I just love the neutral kindness of this. So to round this up, there will be a few products that once they run out, I won't go out and purchase myself. Not because they're not any good, I think they're all really, really good, but um, my skin is extremely oily and spot prone, so I do have my certain products that I, I know work and I need to stick to because I don't want to be playing around with the pH balance, whatever, in my skin. Um, but if you have good conditioned skin, dry, uh, sensitive, whatever, and you maybe get the occasional spot here and there, then these are the perfect products to use. Um, again, with all these essential oils, green tea, and quite a few other products, which, as you know, I love. I'm just really impressed. I think I'm actually really, really impressed with it. Uh, these were the first people to kind of send me 
um, skincare that I've actually tried and that I'm actually talking about. So that in itself is a bit of a sign to me that I'm really, really impressed with these items. The fact that I want to share these with you guys. Yeah, I just think they're great. Of course, I'm going to link everything down below. I have a few things I want to talk about before we go. If I'm liking your comments, I try and reply to everyone, but if I'm just liking your comments and not replying to them, it's because for some reason it won't let me, and I think that's to do with your security settings, so I know you can turn that off. But yeah, I will always like and comment if I can. Also, I'm on Periscope, I'm kind of talking to myself at the moment on there. But on there you can see me talking about clothes that I'm probably not going to feature on here, products that I'm probably not going to feature on YouTube either. And just generally hanging out with you guys as well, we can get a bit more of a one-on-one -on -one dialogue going. And I'll probably do a few Q&As on there um, as well. So yeah, that's all down below as well, my usernames. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram. Also, check out my playlist over on the Icon channel, The Guide. There's three videos up at the moment which I absolutely love, they've done a really great job with them. So yeah, I'm really excited for you guys to see them. I'm going to link that here now. So yeah, please click right on that and check that out. But for now, guys, I will see you next time. For UV rays and also keeps us looking younger. I use Mentholatum SPF because this is a very, very light sunscreen, especially made for the face.